Welcome to this short video on our work English prompts are better for natural language inference based zero shot emotion classification than target language prompts. My name is Roman Klinger from the University of Bamberg and this is joint work with Patrick Bareis from the University of Stuttgart and Jeremy Barnes from the University of the Basque Country. So we care about emotion classification and that means that we would like to build systems, emotion classification systems, that take some text as input and then output an emotion category, typically from a predefined set of emotions. As an example, um, we would take some tweet and put this into an emotion classification system that can deal with the language of this tweet and then in this example it would output the emotion joy. If we have the input in a different language than English, we would typically build an emotion classification system for such a language, for example, by projecting the machine learned model from one language to another. Now, with large language models that can be configured for a specific task with a prompt, the setup could be different. We could use a multilingual large language model that can deal with multiple languages automatically, and then we would instruct this model with a specific prompt to input the text and we would expect that it can deal with input texts which come from different languages. To understand the setup we experiment with six language models, natural language inference models, with three corpora which provide us with 18 languages and with seven prompt templates which we fill with the emotion categories that we care about in these corpora. The first research question that we answer in this paper is, does it matter if the prompt is in the data language or English? Both could make sense. Um, if it's in the data language, it might be that this is a better match between the prompt and the language and perhaps that performs better. Or perhaps English is better because that's the predominant language that has been used to train the model. And we find that English is better in all of our experiments. The second research question is, if this performance difference is stable for different prompt templates and across different data languages, and we find that this is the case, the results are stable, and we want to understand if the results are consistent across different natural language inference models, and by and large we also find that this is the case. If you're interested to learn more, um, please read the paper or come to our presentation, or if you have further questions, feel free to contact us.